Good evening. Welcome. How are you doing tonight? Good evening, God's love. Welcome. Hi, happy forerunner. Welcome. Good evening. Hello. Hi, Abshke. Welcome. Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Hi, Maya. Welcome. Hi, Jeju. Welcome. Hi, Doug, Doug, Doug Edwards. Welcome. I'm just going to wait for a few more people to join us. You're welcome to say hello and tell me where in the world you're located. I am located in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Hi, June. Good evening. One question. Sure. If you have a question, now is a good time to ask before we get started. Hi, Brian. Welcome. Hi, Susie. Toronto. You're in Toronto as well. Welcome. Hi, Sean. Good evening. Hi, Big Fat Slim. Welcome. Good evening. Hi from Belgium. That's exciting. That's very far away. What time is it right now in Belgium? Yes, the Mob Squad. It is fluency focused. Welcome. If you're here to speak English, practice your English, you are in the right place. Two o'clock in the morning, I think. Ah, uh, Dominican. Very nice. Santo Domingo. Welcome. Very good. Nice to have you all here. We are having a storm right now in Toronto, so um, I hope that our live isn't disconnected. I will definitely keep talking unless um, I do get disconnected. Two two o'clock at night. Very nice. If you have any questions about fluency focus, now is a great time to ask me. Our focus is on helping boost your confidence in speaking English. I go, uh, I post a question for you every day on TikTok that you can answer with a video reply. I don't know if anyone's tried this, but it's really easy to do. And if you're not comfortable um, going on camera, you can record a reply and just point your camera at the sky, at the wall, whatever you like. But it's a great way to practice English every day. And this is totally free. So it looks like we have 19 people so far. I'm hoping we still get a few more people on. We're just three minutes into the live. Does anyone have any questions right now about Fluency Focused? You are welcome to ask. This is being recorded, so I will be posting this recording on YouTube as well. You would like to have class with me in Zoom. Okay, Juve, Juve. Um, you can email me. I do do private one-on-one -on -one sessions uh, based on topic-based conversation for people at the intermediate level. So you can definitely message me. Hi, Ferguson. Greetings from Bolivia. Very nice. So, um, Jawad, definitely um, there are great ways to practice speaking English. And one of the very best ways is to follow me here, watch my daily post where I ask you a question about a topic, and you can try to answer the topic with a video reply. If you're not comfortable leaving a video reply, that's okay. You can practice answering it out loud. Hi, Juan Guzman from California. Welcome. Um, so this is a really great way to practice, and I encourage you to even record yourself speaking and then play it back and listen to yourself and over time you will see an improvement. So this is a great way to practice. I'm also going to start posting shorts on YouTube. Um, we do have a YouTube channel. It's the same thing, Fluency Focused English Language Services. And it's um, another great way. I don't know if you've seen shorts before on YouTube. They're called shorts because they're always only a minute long, so they are short. Whereas on TikTok here, you can post a video reply up to 10 minutes long. So if you want to answer one of my questions of the day for 10 minutes, go for it. I encourage that. Hi, Tanya from Dominican. Welcome. Good evening. Hi, Cheryl Grant. Good evening. 
Hi, Queen of Fatuma, welcome. Hi, Marty the Ghost, welcome. Does that does that help you, Jawad? Some native ink. Well, this is this is why I started Fluency Focus because as an English teacher, I found that many of my students wanted more opportunities to speak with a native English speaker, and they just didn't find that they were able to. And so, by watching my TikToks every day and leaving a video reply, every day you're getting a little bit of practice. So I hope that if you follow me and you try this, you will see an improvement. I also find that many people who are learning English know a lot more English than they think. They have studied it in school, they have listened to videos on YouTube, and they know a lot of information but they don't get to practice it. And so with Fluency Focus, we're encouraging you to try using what you know a little bit every day. And I promise you'll feel more confident going out in the world and practicing. You joined, um, Fluency Focus isn't an app. It's, um, it, it's uh, available on my website, fluencyfocusedenglish.com. And I am a native Canadian English speaker. I am also um, an internationally certified teacher of English as an additional language. So after teaching people online and in school in person, I decided I wanted to really focus on boosting people's confidence in speaking English. And so I am the founder of Fluency Focused. And this is how I started um, doing this, and so I hope to develop programs to help you with your speaking skills, specifically in English. Does anybody have any other questions right now? Um, so the best thing, Jawad, is to go to my website that's up here, fluencyfocusedenglish.com, and that has links to all my social media accounts. It has a place you can email me, and that's where I post any updates about any programs that we have currently available. So I will respond to you, um, and I will be happy to answer any questions that you have. Great, awesome, I'm glad you're gonna check it out. And, and do feel free to email me, I will answer your email. I usually respond to people's emails within 24 hours. I think that um, for me it's really important to have a connection with the people who choose to be part of the fluency focused community. I try to respond to everyone's posts on TikTok. And I wanna thank you all, you are doing a great job with TikTok. We are almost at 14,000 followers. That is incredible, considering, hi Mateo, good evening, I'm happy you're here. We, we have reached 14,000 followers in just over two weeks, so this is an incredible accomplishment. Um, I really encourage you to go over to YouTube and subscribe as well, it is free. My goal is to do lives over on YouTube, and YouTube requires me to be at 1,000 followers in order to go live over there. And so that is my goal in the future, um, and I hope that we can get up to 1,000 subscribers quickly like we did here on TikTok, and then I'll be able to do more with the lives um, over on YouTube. I also want to let you know that I am developing a fluency-focused English club. This club will be a subscription-based club, and so you will pay a very small monthly fee, and every week I will do lives on YouTube, but these lives will be private, so it means that only people who are subscribed to our club will be participating in these lives. So the lives may be smaller, which means you'll be able to ask me more questions and we'll get to know each other better. I will also be sending you a weekly newsletter to your inbox each week and you'll be the first to know about any programs or anything that's new coming up with Fluency Focus. So when that is ready, when we have a thousand subscribers on YouTube, I will be able to um, share that with you. So the sooner the better. Mateo, it's the same thing. It's fluency-focused 
English language services, I believe. But Matteo, if you want to go to any of my links, if you go here on TikTok to my profile, there's something called a link tree where the link bar is. And if you click on that, it will give you a link to YouTube, to Instagram, to my email. Um, so everything you need is right there. All right. So that is a great question and that's a great way to reach me. It also has a link for the website as well. So those are um, the important things that I wanted to let you know. Um, does anyone ever, uh, anyone else have any other questions right now? Oh, you're welcome, Mateo. Any other questions? Hi, Mel Kay, welcome. So I wanted just to tell you a little bit about how we help boost your confidence at Fluency Focused. And the number one thing that you need to do is to try speaking a little bit of English every day. And so speak, connect, and grow are the three things that will happen if you visit every day and you try practicing speaking English. So speak. Go to the social media platforms, go visit TikTok every day, listen to my question of the day, and try to answer the question. Try to do it with a video reply. And if you don't know how to leave a video reply, you can go to TikTok and I have a pinned post that will explain how to do it. Basically, you need to find one of my comments in the um, video and if you click on that, like you're going to reply, you will have the option to leave a video message. You'll see a little red icon beside where you would type in a comment. I want you to try speaking. Even if you don't want to show your face, I want you to try leaving a message just with your voice. That's okay. Some people have um, done great ideas like showing me what it looks like where they live and that's a really nice idea oh thanks for the rose my goodness thank you you don't have to send me gifts this is this is just to tell you about fluency focus but i i really appreciate it good morning okay so number one speak a little bit of english every day if we speak a little bit every day, it becomes familiar. It's, it's a practice. It's a habit. If you only speak English once in a while, it's much harder to feel confident about your speaking. So you can come on TikTok. You can speak a little bit of English there. And you can also go to the YouTube, subscribe, and you can see the shorts. The shorts are only one minute, so you only have one minute if you want you can respond now. This is a new feature on YouTube. You can respond with um, a short. So I encourage you to give it a try. So then we have Connect. By participating online, on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube, you can connect with other English language learners just like you. And when we have the Fluency Focused English Language Club available, it will be a smaller group of people where you really can get to know other people better. And I'm definitely always open to your ideas, your suggestions for topics, or any ideas you have that relate to speaking English confidently. So we have speak, connect, and then finally grow. By doing this, by practicing your English every day, by connecting with other English language learners, you will grow, your confidence will grow, your English language level will grow. So together with these three steps, you really can boost your level of confidence. And that's what Fluency Focused is all about. So it isn't necessarily about following a rigid curriculum or classes. It's really about enjoying speaking about topics that interest you and feeling comfortable about it and getting a little bit of feedback at the same time. So I hope that you all choose to follow me. I do plan to continue doing lives weekly on TikTok as well that will be free. And um, I think I've spoken a lot now. So I do want to open it up for questions. Um, I just want to ask if anybody answered any of the questions that I posted this week. So I started on Monday, and this was a really 
Um, deep question. So if you don't know what deep means, it's, it's really serious. And this was a question suggested by one of our followers, Yelena, who I really appreciate. She is from Belarus and she comes up with amazing questions. And so the question she suggested was, what advice would you give to your younger self? So now that you're a little bit older, what would you say to your younger self? Does anyone have any answers right now? I know you can't speak. Ah, Paratharnax, that's so nice. If you watched my last live, you know that I have a very unusual pet. And this pet is a bearded dragon. Hello, hello. And so one of my friends that also has a bearded dragon named Parthernax is here visiting us. So thank you very, very much for joining us. Oh, that's so nice. That's, that's a very nice surprise. Thank you. And it's late for her right now. She is in Scotland, I believe. So it, it is um, very late. Please remember to like. It's so nice to see you too. Please remember to like, follow, and share so more people can find out about Fluency Focused. That would make me so happy. I am here to share my knowledge and my love for English and my love for people. Uh, I want to, you to know that as someone who helps people learn English, it is so exciting for me because I get to learn about your culture and about where you live and a little bit about you. And that's really important to me. So thank you. May you write the question. I'm not going to write the question because this is about speaking. So I am going to say the question again, but you can also watch the video in TikTok too, um, Coca. And so the question was, um, what advice would you give your younger self? What would you tell your younger self? And I could talk about this for a very long time. It is a very complicated question. It isn't a question we can answer with one sentence. I think that someone could probably speak for more than 10 minutes about what they might tell their younger self, depending on how old you are. If you're older, welcome, Mandigar. Just keep following. Try posting um, reply videos to my daily questions, and that will help. Mandigar, there is a pinned video in TikTok that explains how to do that. Oh, you too. Have a lovely night, friend. Thank you. Kiss all your babies for me. So that was, the, that was Monday's question. The second question, I don't know if Tuesday's question or Wednesday's question, but one question I asked is, do you drink enough water? And this is a really important question. Right now it is summer in Canada and it is really, really hot. I don't know if you can see my hair is blowing. That's because I have a fan because it's so hot and it just finished raining and so it is hot and so what I do is drink a lot of water. Water helps us feel healthy, water helps our skin, water is great for our bodies and so it's something that I try to do a lot. I got lots of answers that people posted in answer to my question and people, some people said they don't drink water. Some people said they did. Um, Boy K even posted the most amazing reply video. And he did this really cool background with water. And he said that he does bring water to work. And he tries really hard to drink water. And that was really awesome that he took a chance and decided to post that video. So this week, I encourage you to give it a try. And then the third topic I asked you about was pets. And I don't know if you saw my video, but I showed you my dog named Gracie. She is a pug. She is full of energy. And many people responded. Some people said they didn't have pets. Some people said they didn't like animals. 
Um, and some people told me about their pets, which was amazing. But I thank you very much. Um, but I, I want to see more people taking a risk and trying to post a video reply. So whether you post a very short one for one minute, that's okay. Just try. And remember, you don't have to put your face on the video. You can put a video of your pets if you want and just practice speaking. And I promise I will respond if you make a video. I try to respond to all the posts. We are almost at 14,000 followers, which is amazing. So it does take a while to respond to everybody, but I really try because I want you to feel welcome here and I want you to feel like you can take risks and try practicing speaking English. That's really important to me. So now I have talked a lot. I really want to encourage you to ask any questions you have related to fluency focused. So anything related to speaking, any of the social media platforms, um, please let me know. And remember that you can also visit the website and you can send me an email. You can also send me um, an email directly through TikTok and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So just let me pull this up on my tablet for a second. Um, okay. So right now, this minute, we are at 13.8 followers, 13.8 followers on TikTok. Hold on. It's a green screen, so it just takes a second to find the right spot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. It wants to see my face, not my screen. Okay, hold on. Maybe. It's kind of like magic. I can't get the right spot to show you, but if you go, I'll, I'll hold it back here. So this is my profile, Fluency Focused, okay, on TikTok. If you go here below the description, you're going to see a link. This is called the link tree. If you click on this, I don't know if it will do it because it's my account. If you click on the link tree, that's where you will be able to access my email, the website, um, Instagram, and YouTube just right there. Or you can visit the website and you can have access to all those things. So let me see. So this is what it looks like. If you hit that link tree button, you'll see this. And there's a little envelope. That's where you can click and it will let you send an email. And then the YouTube icon is where it will send you directly to YouTube. If you click on this one, it's going to send you to my website. And this one says time for a coffee break. And if you would like to treat me to a coffee, you can click this and send me a coffee. You definitely don't have to. I try drinking only one coffee a day because if I drink more coffee, I tend to stay up too late. I don't know how it is for you, but um, for me, I have one in the morning and I'm good to go. I don't know if you've heard this expression. Good to go just means you're ready for the day, everything is great. So I encourage you to follow me on all the social media platforms here on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, um, visit our website, fluencyfocusedenglish.com. And if you have any questions right now, please let me know. This live is being recorded. You're welcome, Safir, welcome. Um, the live is being recorded, so you will be able to watch it again on YouTube if you want to, or if you want to share it with anyone else. Um, that would be great. In the future, I am going to start some small conversation groups that will be available through Zoom. My goal is to create groups of people who are in the same time zone and at the same level. And these groups will be a maximum of six people at the same level. 
I want to put people together so that they can feel comfortable having conversations. So when this is available, I will talk about it on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube, in my lives. One of the things that you could do to really help me is tell me when the best time of day is for you, for me to have lives and, and classes, conversation groups, and what day of the week. Last week, I went to uh, I, I went live on TikTok at 11 a.m. on Saturday, and tonight I tried at 8 p.m. But there are almost 14,000 people on our TikTok account, so it's hard to know when the best time for everyone is to do lives and to have um, conversation groups. So, um, COCA, right now for my private one-on-one -on -one sessions, I focus on intermediate B1 level conversation, but with the conversation groups, we may have some different levels. Um, information about the private one-on-one -on -one sessions is available on the website. So, if you go visit the website, you can look on the main menu and it says private one-on-one -on -one, and you can click on that for more information. And if you click on that link, it will show you what you should be able to do if you're at the B1 level. Coca, that's amazing. So send me an email. Get in touch with me. I only accept a very small number of people for private lessons. The reason is that I want to build relationships with people. I want to know you and I want to give you my full attention when I am with you online by Zoom. So usually I have about 15 people each month that I work with one-on-one. -on -one. So when you commit to private one-on-one -on -one sessions with me, you need to commit to a minimum of four times and that way we can really build a good relationship and uh, get to know each other and have some great conversations. So awesome, thanks for the thumbs up. So I'm happy to answer more questions about uh, the, the private sessions and you can visit the website for more information about that. Does anyone have any other questions? The private one-on-one -on -one sessions are not free. The lives I do each week here on TikTok are free. You can ask me questions, Amina. Um, I am working on developing a private fluency-focused English language group where I will have private lives on YouTube, which will give you a chance to um, have a smaller group for conversation and ask me questions as well as a weekly newsletter that I will send to your inbox. So that one is going to be paid and when I have that ready we still need a thousand followers on uh, subscribers on YouTube for me to be able to, to launch the club. So as soon as we have a thousand followers subscribers on YouTube um, then we can launch the club which will be paid. The paid fluency focused English language club will be $5 Canadian a month. So for $5 Canadian a month, you're going to get four private lives with a smaller group and four newsletters delivered to your inbox in a month. So I think it's amazing value. And the newsletters are not going to be written, they're going to be videos of me talking because it's all about speaking, it's all about building your confidence. So I think that that's really good value and I will definitely talk about it more when we have a thousand subscribers. I hope that answers your question, 007 Bond. So that um, private membership will be $5 a month. Um, you're down, Chewy? Awesome. That's great. Nice to see you this evening. Very good. So we have 36 people in the live. I just am so happy that everybody decided to come this evening. Um, and again, one of the biggest questions I have is what's a good day of the week and what's a good time for you to participate in live? Um, 
it's it's hard for me to guess with 14,000 people, it's really hard to coordinate a time that works for everybody. So if you can help me with that question, you can actually maybe post a video reply for me on TikTok. Maybe I will, um, after the live, I will post that question and ask for you to tell me, you can tell me in your time. So you can say wherever you live, um, so for example, Santo Domingo time or Bolivia time, Monday at 2 p.m. And then I'll be able to switch it to Eastern Standard Time where I am here in Toronto, Canada. Um, would you invite someone on your live night? Hi, Desane. Right now, I'm not going to do that. When we have our private um, fluency focused group and I know people a little bit better then I, I definitely will do that and I, I want to do that to give people an opportunity to speak and answer questions but I think I will wait to do that um, till, we, till we have that if that's okay with you. If anyone has any other questions please ask them now. I'm here to answer your questions. I'm happy to answer questions related to fluency focus, related to speaking English. Um, welcome Hudson, hello. So any questions you're welcome to ask right now. I think we still have a reasonable amount of time. Um, let's just look at what time it is. Yeah, we, it's 8.30, so hi, how are you Simo, welcome. You're in Dominican. How can you pay? That's a great question, Mateo. So when we have 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, then I will be allowed to go live on YouTube. So when that is uh, ready and I can go live on YouTube, what will happen is through the website, and I will put a link in TikTok, you will go to join the Fluency Focused English Language Club. You will go in there and, and you will be able to pay the $5. I believe, I'll ha I will let you know what different ways you can pay, but I, I know that for sure you can pay by credit card or debit card. Hi, well, Fred. Good evening. Hi, Iron Mueller. How can you improve your grammar? Well, that's, that's something you really have to study. Um, there are many, many great websites and um, Oh, that's okay, Simo. Thanks for joining us. Have a good night. We'll, we'll be back again. I'm on every day. I post a new question on TikTok that you can try answering with a video reply. So, Safir, the, the grammar isn't something that I focus on, but there are many amazing YouTube accounts, Instagram, TikTok accounts that you can practice your grammar. My focus is really on getting you speaking comfortable. You're welcome, Simo. Uh, that, that's the area of English that I really enjoy because I like learning about you. 1.33 a.m. Yes, you should definitely go to, go to sleep now. That's late. Um, if you have to work tomorrow, that's, that's very late at night. I am from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I grew up in Toronto and um, I moved away. I live about two hours away from Toronto in a smaller city called London. But I'm in Toronto right now visiting my mom. So I'm staying with her right now and I will return home on Saturday. It's a two hour drive. I actually took the train to visit my mom, which is really nice because the traffic between where I live, London and Toronto is really bad. And I know how to drive, but I really don't like driving and sitting in traffic. Uh, when pigs fly, that's a really, really good question, Mar Marcos. Thank you for asking that. So Marcos asked, what is the expression when pigs fly? I think you meant fly because what when pigs fry is not an expression I know. When pigs fly, okay, so let's think about this. Have you ever seen a flying pig? No, right? Pigs don't fly. There's no pig that flies in the sky. So when you think something is never going to happen, that it's impossible, somebody suggests, oh, you might win the lottery. 
then you could use this expression, Marcos. You could say, yeah, when pigs fly. Like, I'll win the lottery when pigs start to fly in the sky. It's a, it's a great idiom. It's, a, it's really a good one. Nice question. Very nice. Hi, Sala. Welcome. Good evening. Hi, Ricardo. So any questions right now about speaking English, about, it is a great idiom, Iron Ruler. It is. Yes. I like it. Idioms are really fun, and I think that idioms are something that I, I would like to focus on and maybe out of the week when I do a daily topic, maybe one of the days I'll introduce a new idiom because there are so many fabulous idioms in English, and um, it's really important you know how to use them before you try to use them. If you're not sure if you understand it completely, it's better not to use it because people might look at you a little funny um, if you uh, don't use it correctly. So when pigs fly pretty much means it's never going to happen. You do not think it's possible because pigs don't fly. Awesome. I love it. Any other questions? Any other questions about anything? So remember, when you go on the TikTok profile, if you look at the bottom where the link section is, click on that and it will give you the links. You can send me an email. You can go to YouTube. You can go to the Instagram account. You can go to the website. So those are all there directly from that link in the TikTok profile. You can also visit the website directly at fluencyfocusedenglish.com. Again, you can send me an email. I will reply quickly. Um, this is my full-time job. This is what I do. This is what I love. So you can definitely send me a message there. I don't do direct messages directly from TikTok just because with almost 14,000 subscribers, um, it gets to be too much. So this way, if you really want to speak to me, you can do that. Um, does saying that's a great question. Break a leg. So when someone says break a leg, they mean good luck. That's break a leg. It sounds strange, but that's what it means. Break a leg. Good luck. That's when someone would say that to you. Maybe if you have a performance. For example, I'm visiting my family in Toronto right now. Before I started the live, my mom could have said, break a leg. Good luck. Any other questions? I like your question. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I know it's the middle of the week, and so it, you know, I'm not sure of what everyone, uh, what time it is. You're welcome to say what time it is, um, how to join the club. Okay, so uh, Juto, um, I haven't launched the club yet. We need to get to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube before I can go live. And when we have, a thousand subscribers on YouTube, then I can post the information about the club. But the club is going to have once a week a private live, so you have to be in the club to watch the live. And you'll also get a weekly video newsletter. So in your inbox, I'm going to send a video of me talking about the week, about some of the things we talked about and the topics. And it will be another way for you to improve your fluency and your confidence speaking English. It will be $5 Canadian. So really good value. Um, and that, that is that going to be available as soon as we have 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. So to subscribe on YouTube is totally free. So if you have friends who just would like to watch some videos um, about speaking English, a topic of the day, they don't have to do anything, let them know. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. It is also Fluency Focused English Language Learning Services, and I would love for that uh, subscription to get up to a thousand quickly. It would be really good. I would like to improve how to use the past and increase my vocabulary. So, Mateo, Mateo just keep watching. Keep, uh, keep practicing every day. I'm going to tell you a story. A long, long time ago, when I was much younger, I learned 
how to speak French. I studied French. In Canada, our two national languages are French and English. So I learned how to speak this language. And then I finished school. And for many, many, many years, 20 years, more than 20 years, I didn't speak any French. But I remembered some French. And then I went to visit France. And I would try to speak French. And the people there would answer me in English because they wanted to practice their English. And so I found it difficult to practice speaking French. But I found someone who would talk to me in French. And every day I tried a little bit to speak a little bit of French, even though my French was not very good. And after a week, I could see a big improvement. And that's because you probably have more English language in your brain than you think, but you haven't had the chance to use it. And that's why I want you to do it. Um, okay, so Iyer Mueller, just so you know, the, thank you for subscribing. The this, this subscription that I'm talking about, the Fluency Focused English Language Club, is different. Um, so you might want to cancel that subscription. I don't want people subscribing here on TikTok. I'd like for us to go to YouTube to do our lives, but I can't do that until we have a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Subscribing on the YouTube channel is totally free. So right now, okay, so Iyer Mueller, try to cancel it right away to get a refund. And if you have any problems, message me right away because I don't, I don't, I, I don't want you subscribing on here. I think that um, YouTube offers really good options for the lives. I will continue to do a weekly live here on TikTok to tell people what we're doing. But the club will be really good because it will be a smaller group of people who are wanting to um, no, thank you. Thank you for your support, Iron and Mueller. Thank you. Um, I think it will be really nice. I, I'm excited about the possibilities with the Fluency Focused English Language Club, and it, it should be available in the next few weeks. Again, we need to get to 1,000 subscribers in order for us to go live there. And if you're part of the club, we will do lives just like this, and it will be recorded, and then you'll have access to the live if you're not able to participate. So I think that that will be really fun. If you have any ideas, any suggestions, any questions, you are always welcome to send me an email, which you can access here on TikTok through the link tree, or go directly to the website at fluencyfocusedenglish.com, and you'll see all of the social media icons at the bottom of the page. Um, and there's an envelope where you can send a ma um, mail directly. So let me just see. So this is what the website looks like. Okay, so Fluency Focused English, that's me. Remember, these are the three steps that I talked about. Speak, connect, and grow. And then right here at the bottom, you see the TikTok icon, Instagram, YouTube, and then the last one you click on is mail. I'm great, how are you doing tonight? Where are you visiting us from? Welcome. I'm so happy that you took the time to visit us tonight. I really appreciate it. And remember to tell me what time is a good time for you to uh, visit, uh, visit, to have live. So you can send me a message. You would love to come to Canada. Well, we're, we're here. We would love to have you visit. I think it is a really good country. I have visited several other countries that I enjoy, but I, I'm also happy to live in Canada. Hi, Elady. Welcome. Good evening. Oh, that's so nice, Marcos. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I, I really am here for you. I really, really care a lot. Hi, never mind. Welcome. That's okay. We're happy to have everyone here. Thank you for the gifts. You really don't have to gift me, please. I, I don't. All, all I ask is that you follow me on the different social media accounts. Help us get to a thousand followers on YouTube. Subscribers, it's totally free. 
Um, and that way we can build the fluency focused English language club. Thank you. Nice to meet you too, never mind. Any other questions? We had a really bad rainstorm right now here. I was wondering if maybe the power would go out. There was actually a tornado warning. It was thundering. I have been to the Dominican twice and I loved it. It was a long, long time ago. I was very young, um, but it was amazing. The beaches there are beautiful. Um, I was in Santo Domingo and Punta Cana, I believe. I think so. And I've had many students from Dominican. Very nice. Yes. Any other questions tonight? What do you want to know? Um, of course, of course. What time is it right now? Never mind. Do I speak any other? Uh, Marco, I studied French when I was much younger, so I speak a little bit of French, but I was saying before that because I don't speak French every day, my French is not really good. But if I were to speak to someone in French and practice a little bit every day, 1.45 a.m. So you should go to bed. What are you doing up so early in the morning? I am from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Uh, no hablo espanol, um, but because I speak French or understand French, I can understand little bits of Spanish. So some words are similar. I have some Spanish students, and so sometimes when they don't know a word in English, they will say it in Spanish, and I can sometimes guess. I, I would like to. Ah, you're at work right now. Okay. All right. Well, I'm glad that you don't have to um, be up, up late at night. Next time you visit Puerto Plata in the north. I've heard that's also beautiful. Okay. There's so many places I would like to visit. Um, I can hear thunder still. I really was worried that maybe the power would go off um, during the live. So I'm happy that we didn't have that happen. Um, yes. So after, excuse me, after the live, I'm going to post the question that you're welcome to answer. What is a good day and what is a good time? Thank you for the heart. What is a good day and a good time for you to be on live, to watch the live? Thanks, never mind. So that's important to me. And right now we're almost at 14,000 followers on TikTok. So that is hard to find a time that's good for everybody but i am recording the live so people who can't watch with us right now can watch it and in the future when we have the fluency focused english language club then you'll also be able to watch the lives that will be private for club members and i'm hoping that we should be able to launch that in the next week or two but only if we have a thousand subscribers so Help me out, get that YouTube account up. I was amazed how quickly we were able to grow the TikTok account. Um, let's check right now. Where are we at for YouTube? Um, <laughs> let's have a look. I'm just looking on my tablet. Okay, so right now we're only at 50 subscribers on the YouTube channel. This is what it looks like. So I've posted three shorts. And this is the live video that you can watch from last Saturday that I recorded if you want. Um, what's really cool is on YouTube, if you haven't tried it before, they have shorts. So instead of the videos like we have on TikTok that can be up to 10 minutes long, shorts are only one minute. So you can do the same thing on, oh, thanks, Eder Castillo. Thank you. You just subscribed. Thank you so much. So we need everybody to subscribe. It's free. Go to the YouTube channel. It's the same uh, fluency focused English language services. And that would be so great. And then we can get the club going. So private lives with a smaller group and weekly uh, newsletter, a video newsletter. So the video newsletter will probably look like you'll get an email with a link. And then when you click the link, it will be a video that you can watch of me speaking. Okay? So awesome. Oh, never mind. Ten friends shared. Thank you. Oh, that is so nice. 
Thank you so much. Thanks for the rose, Elizabeth. Please don't send me gifts. You really don't have to. Um, I do this because I love what I do and I love people. I love learning about different cultures and different places. Um, if you haven't introduced yourself and told us where you're from, you can do that now. Uh, any questions, I'm happy to answer related to Fluency Focused. I'm in Toronto, Ontario, Canada right now. Um, hi, Tina. Welcome. Hello. Tina, do you have any questions about speaking English? Hi from Baja, Mexico. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Arsh. So it looks like we're getting some people jumping in now. Our numbers are going up a little bit. If you have any questions, now is a great time to ask. Um, remember to this week really challenge yourself and try leaving a video reply. Um, what I can do is show you with the tablet maybe in case you don't know how to do that. Let's go to the TikTok and I just want to make sure the volume is down. Okay, so here's my TikTok account, Fluency Focused. So let's choose a video. Um, it doesn't matter which one. Okay. So choose one video. You're going to go to the comment section. That's not a good example. Hold on. Because we need to find one where I've posted something. So let's go to G. Do, do you drink enough water? Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's let's go to anyone. You can you you can do a video reply to anyone's comment on TikTok. So this isn't even my account, but if you go in to leave a comment for someone and you hit reply, instead of um, hitting typing it, there should be a red camera image, and that is what you click on, and it's just like posting a regular TikTok video. You can edit it, you can do whatever you want with it, you can change it, it can be up to 10 minutes long. And this is such a great way to practice speaking English. If you don't want your face on camera, that's okay, that's fine. You can hold your camera up to the wall, you can put it up to a, a picture, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, thanks, Adam. But do try to speak a little bit of English every day because I promise you will see a difference. You will feel better because you're getting the chance to practice. And when you're learning a language, that's one of the biggest challenges is we don't get enough times where we feel safe speaking the language we're learning. And so that's why I created Fluency Focus. So you could have spaces where you feel comfortable trying. I, I will never make you feel uncomfortable. I always want to encourage and support you and help you along the way for your English language learning journey. That's why I'm here. That's what I do. That's what makes me really happy. Does anyone else have any questions right now? Do you want to know anything right now about Fluency Focused? So remember that you can you can contact me, you can send me an email directly through TikTok. Just go to the profile and where there's a, a link. Okay, Marco, thank you. Good night from Brazil. Thank you so much for visiting. Um, ah, hello from Panama, good evening, hi. So on that Linktree link where you see the little link, click on that, you'll have access to the website an email that goes directly to me, Instagram, um, and YouTube. So it's all right there, right from TikTok. And also on the website, fluencyfocusedenglish.com, you can access my email directly, um, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. All, so you, you, you can get a hold of me. Hi, Abel, good evening, hello, ah, welcome. Hello from Ethiopia. So 
I do respond to people's emails and messages. I try to get back to you as quickly as I can within 24 hours, and I'm happy to answer your questions. I'm, I'm here to help you. So if you have any more questions before I go, I would, um, how many hours in the month? Um, Electro Basic, what do you mean by how many hours in the month we have? I'm not sure what you mean by that. I try to go live once a week here on TikTok, and that will always be free. So just um, to let you all know, don't subscribe to me here if you pay for the course. Uh, right now, I don't have any courses available, but in the future, Electro Basic, I will be talking about them here on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, and my website. So those are all ways that you can find out more about what Fluency Focused will be offering in the future. But right now, our goal is get the subscribers up to 1,000 on YouTube. Tell your friends, tell everybody, because it is free. Um, what is the correct way to say to to get out or to take out an item from a place. Um, hmm. uh, you're welcome, Juto. Thank you. Correct way to say. If you're taking an item from a place, the expression take out we use when we're getting food from a restaurant and we're not going to stay at the restaurant. So. If I didn't make dinner at my house tonight, I could say I got takeout. Um, get out means to leave a place. So if you're taking an item out from a place, like I took my pen out of my purse, I would use takeout. To get out means if someone comes in my room right now, I'll say, get out, I'm doing a live. Okay, this is the difference between take out and get out. I hope that helps. Any other questions? Ah, thank you, thank you, Chewy, thank you. I really appreciate it. Hi, Eddie, good evening. How are you tonight? Thanks for coming in. Any, any other questions? If you don't want to 